Okay, so this is literally so stressful. Everything has plastic. And the anticipation is killing me. Hey, my name's Emmy. I live in Tokyo, Japan. Hey, I'm May. I live in Hollywood, California. And for the next 72 hours, I'm gonna do my absolute best to be zero waste. Japan loves plastic. One of the main hurdles is trying to avoid plastic because it is literally everywhere. I think doing this is gonna be a big eye opener for me. I'm gonna try my best for sure. I really don't know. I'm nervous for the next three days. Okay, so day one, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna go get breakfast. I have my daily routine of eating my oatmeal. I can't be using this packet. Yeah, I live like right down the street from this restaurant that actually has these like grab and go breakfast things that come in a glass container and then bring it back. I feel like this whole entire three days is gonna be a lot of realizing that like taking the easy way out is not always the best. Welcome to my bathroom. I'm joking, this is a hotel bathroom. Pretty much all of Japan has stopped using um, hand dryers. This is my first piece of trash. I was so excited about this zero waste breakfast and then I open it and I realize there's a plastic container for granola. So I guess we have gotten our first thing of waste. So I got lunch before leaving Osaka, but there was plastic wrapped around the napkins and the kushiyage it came with wooden skewers. So yeah, I had to take that back home. Something that I did not think about at all until this exact moment right now, I just sneezed and I went to grab a tissue and I can't use one. Like that is garbage, TMI, but I did have to wash my hands after. Let's clip back from the supermarket. They do use so much plastic. This, this is the problem. Like why does one carrot need to be individually wrapped in plastic? This one bell pepper. Now broccoli, they did have it just like this, but you need to put it in a plastic bag. It's like essentially the same thing. You just don't get a gold sticker. Everything has plastic. I'm trying to hit the grocery store the least amount of times possible. My roommates and I have kind of been doing this thing where we all go at the same time. I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow. That means today I have to figure out how to eat without having any waste. I had this idea, there's a really kind of fancy grocery store but last time I was there, I actually saw they had these glass containers. I hope it's not too expensive. And then you can give it to them and they'll fill it up with food from the hot bar and you can take it home and reuse it. I made dinner with uh, the groceries that I got from the supermarket. I'm not the type of person that eats the leaves from the broccoli, so I kind of snip those off. I usually peel the carrot skins, but I just decided to try it unpeeled. So overall, I think I did okay. Um, it's mostly vegetable peels. So I found this, which I thought would be a much better idea than buying two liters of green tea every single time. And we'll make some green tea. There's already little particles. All right, so after calling like literally five different restaurants, everybody said that they can't use reusable containers right now. It is back to using this and back to the same grocery store that I was just at, but it's better than like wasting the bag and the container and the utensils and whatever. The environment. Ta-da! Wow. Okay, so I subconsciously pulled out this face mask to relax, but then it's trash now. How do I preserve this? Like, I'm not okay with this. That's terrifying. <laughs> if this isn't a fit, I don't know it is. I hope the Starbucks brace is like it. <laughs> okay, we're literally next in line and the anticipation is killing me. Are you guys able to use reusable cups right now? So that was a bust. How's it feel? I love the environment. I just, I need caffeine. I'm gonna roast my chickpeas on this. It'll eventually become trash, but at least I'll be able to use the paper again for a different meal. For lunch, I had a chickpea salad sandwich and I ended up with a couple of vegetable scraps and the plastic around the bell pepper. All right, so we are getting ready to go grocery shopping for just like our everyday stuff and then also for this picnic that we're gonna try and make zero waste. We have like little reusable bags for our produce and then we're also bringing our own paper bags that we have saved from like previous grocery shopping. We're doing okay. Like, come on, I didn't even ask for this. 
I'm gonna fill this water bottle with uh, the green tea that I made so that I don't have to keep buying these whenever I get thirsty. Yes. Normally, this is what we would get, but uh, not today. Not today. Not the easy way out today, ladies. No hot food. What I decided to do is I just got a sandwich. They wrap it in paper, so at least it's recyclable. So I guess it's like lesser evil. It's on her paper. So everything was in plastic. Like every single thing. We couldn't even buy like chips or crackers or anything. No chips for me. Okay, so these are the bags that we brought, so that's what I'm gonna be using. And I think we're just gonna put everything in the cart, bring it out to our car, and then bag it there since you're not allowed to bring reusable bags in the store right now. I may not have thought this through. The Ida moment did me dirty. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? So we're gonna go down there, set up, and have a fun time. Literally every single thing had stickers on it, so we have to keep that. But we didn't get pre-cut fruit. Sacrifice a little bit. Okay, so literally wrapped in one piece of paper, wrapped in another piece of paper. We got plastic. <laughs> we have also <laughs> two pieces of paper. But you know what? It's a nice day out. We're not gonna be mad. All right, so I'm about to make dinner and I'm shamefully admitting the amount of plastic that comes with it. Plastic, 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 plastic and styrofoam. I don't know, man. So for dinner, I made a simple Japanese meal with gammo, it's kind of tofu, I guess, eggplant and steamed salmon. Usually you would wrap it in aluminum foil but I'm reusing the uh, cooking paper that I used for the chickpeas earlier. Sunscreen is not that fragile, I feel. No. Oh wait, hold on, we got one more. Oh. Great. It's only been two days. Like it really shouldn't be that hard, I feel like. Also, I decided I'm not gonna go out or anything for dinner. I think my roommate's gonna cook something and I'll probably just eat leftovers from that. And it's the best I can do right now. I have all this waste. Maybe I can make some green dye out of this. Like if I'm gonna throw it out anyways, I might as well make the most of it. Ew. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and dye this white rag. My expectations are extremely low. This is the day. My confidence is up. We're going to the farmer's market. We're gonna get fresh produce, no plastic. I have my reusable bags. I buy the packs of spaghetti that already have this taste. So I guess this is trash. I made this vegetarian pasta dish and it really didn't make as much trash as I thought it would. So this has been sitting in this dye for about 20 hours now. Like it has some earthy tones. So after washing it a couple of times, it's pretty cute. I've been to this farmer's market before and I know that they have so many things. Not any packaging, no stickers, no nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's probably good. Thank you. A lot of sun and a lot of sweat later. I have enough food to last me for the day and I'm actually so excited. I have a really fun recipe in mind. I got everything that I needed. And honestly, I feel like it was cheaper than going to the grocery store. Once again, I'm showing off the amount of plastic that I'll be throwing away at the end of the day. I don't, I'm sorry. I would peel the skin off, but I'm not gonna do that today. I think I'll just cut like a tiny sliver. But other than that, I will be using the whole thing. I got a spaghetti squash. I got a bunch of tomatoes to make like a fresh homemade sauce. Like it's gonna be so good. I want her so bad. I'm in my kitchen and we're about to cook dinner. So I'm making spaghetti squash and then making a homemade sauce with the tomatoes, onion, and shallots that I got. I'm really excited because I'm really hungry. So Chef May is here and we're gonna cook. I feel like I should not be trusted with a knife this big, but. I'm the strongest person alive, so thank you. This looks interesting. Instead of making a real sauce, we're gonna make more of like a, a fresh tomato sauce, if you will. It can't taste bad, but I don't think it's gonna be like quite the spaghetti sauce that I was hoping for. Yikes, but also we're working with what we have. Like pasta shaped. It does look like sp holy sh This is definitely the most successful meal thus far. When I get out of the shower, I like to eat ice cream. 
but I'm trying not to make any trash, so I'm eating an orange instead. It did give me the idea of using the orange peels and making those sort of sugar-coated orange peel thingies that you see in gift shops and stuff. Oh my god, oh my god! I'm so proud! All the possibilities. So I just woke up, which means 72 hours of no waste are over. I feel terrible because I did such a bad job. I did try, I really did. Japan loves plastic. There are things that I can do better, like, you know, not buying plastic bottles, just like bringing my own water bottle everywhere. Didn't get zero waste, but I did honestly get pretty close. Like, I have a whole new perspective on like my own behavior that I didn't have before. So taking a step back, really looking at what you're doing, what you can change and how you can be better, even if it's in small ways, is so important. I'll do better. I did have fun making these and this, so not a total bummer. Thank you.